WrestleMania 35, Vince McMahon wants one thing, Triple H wants another. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm the authority. You are the authority! Indeed I am. As a member of the WWE Authority, I only see a one main event of WrestleMania 35, and you guessed it, the great former Divas Champion vs. Sean's View Entertainment, the main event of WrestleMania 35 DLC match. Or Brian Panties, it could be Brian Panties as well, I, I wouldn't mind. The winner gets the vacated Divas Championship. The Great One vs. The Brash One, live on WWE Network. Welcome to the channel. Brash. Welcome everybody to another episode of Greatness of Wrestling. I know the same intro, I will change the intro in the next episode. I'm making a lot of videos right now, so I don't really have a lot of time. I want to start this video by talking about WrestleMania 35. WWE Raw, Triple H and Vince McMahon's WrestleMania plans for Universal title revealed. So according to Give Me Sport, Vince McMahon wants Braun Strowman to defeat Brock Lesnar at Royal Rumble and then Drew McIntyre to defeat Braun Strowman at WWE WrestleMania 35, which actually sounds like an amazing plan. Drew McIntyre as Universal Champion at WrestleMania, Vince McMahon still has some creative ideas, which is why it's hard to believe that it's actually true. On the other hand, Triple H thinks that Brock Lesnar should retain the championship and that Seth Rollins should dethrone Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 30. Five. Actually, both scenarios are pretty good in my opinion. Now, as a member of WWE Authority, this is how I would book this. A triple threat match. Everybody wins. And Drew McIntyre, of course, wins the Universal Championship because he was never the Universal Champion and we want to see him succeed. I guess at this point, it's kind of too late for Braun Strowman to win the championship. They missed so many opportunities with him when people actually wanted him to win the title. Now, Braun Strowman is just, I don't know, Am I the only one who kind of lost hope? I even lost interest in this guy. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Should Drew McIntyre win the Universal Championship at WrestleMania against Braun Strowman or Seth Rollins against Brock Lesnar? Both scenarios are pretty good, but I do like the sound of Drew McIntyre winning the Universal Championship. And of course, take it with a grain of salt, we don't know whether this is true or not, these are just rumors, they kinda sound believable, but if they want a one-on-one -on -one match, why couldn't they just make a compromise? Why wouldn't you make, instead of Drew McIntyre against Braun Strowman, Drew McIntyre against Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship? I guess that could work as well. We're probably getting Goldberg versus Lesnar for the third time, Universal Championship, two-minute match. Okay, we're probably not. But I wouldn't be shocked. Triple H told me that I'm the authority. You are the authority! So as a member of the WWE Authority, rule number three. I'm banning Nia Jax from talking on Monday Night Raw. My title! In the last episode, we talked about Daniel Bryan potentially being injured because while Mustafa Ali was doing his finisher, he accidentally hit Daniel Bryan with his knee to the side of the face. Daniel Bryan also left the arena without his WWE Championship, so people thought that maybe there's something wrong, maybe Daniel Bryan is concussed or injured. Fortunately, however, there are reports that Daniel Bryan is okay, Mustafa Ali was very apologetic, but Daniel Bryan was just fine, so hopefully it's true and hopefully he's fine, uh, that was scary. This is a lame article, SportsCheda reported, WWE News, sad update for Daniel Bryan following heel turn. You may wonder, what is a sad update? Is he injured? Are WWE SmackDown Live losing millions of viewers while Daniel Bryan is in a ring? No. Daniel Bryan's heel turn hasn't been as effective as the former world champion would have hoped. Brad Shepard noted on the Oh You Didn't Know podcast that Bryan's merchandise sales as a heel have been basically non-existent. What? Wh what are you saying? 
this cannot be true. Daniel Bryan was a heel who was pretty much roasting the crowd all the time, is not selling as much merchandise. What? If anything, in my opinion, it's saying that he's a very successful heel. He's an actual heel that people hate. He's not one of your, oh, this is a cool heel guy that we're gonna cheer for. Daniel Bryan made it work, even though he's the most beloved WWE superstar of this generation. To me, it's shocking that people are booing him, which is a good thing. Maybe someone like AJ Styles as a heel would sell a lot of merchandise because first of all, his merchandise looks kind of cool. And second of all, people chill for him, you know, he doesn't have that kind of personality as a heel that you just wanna hate. Daniel Bryan, on the other hand, has that. He's a vegan who pushes his ideas down people's throat and he still has a point so people hate him. He doesn't even have merchandise right now. Do you think people are gonna buy Yes t-shirts right now? Anyway, it's not a big deal, the only issue is Daniel Bryan is making less money, I guess. You are the authority! Now, as a member of the WWE Authority, I'm gonna give you a rule number four. No more pee pee jokes on Money Night Raw. No more pee jokes, no more urine jokes, nothing, nothing like that. And this message has been approved by the Authority. Royal Rumble 2019 is happening very soon in late January and people are already making their predictions. So apparently Seth Rollins is the most likely superstar who's gonna win Royal Rumble 2019 and honestly I actually believe that it could be true since there are rumors going around that he's gonna face Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. So either him or Drew McIntyre I think are gonna win the Royal Rumble, if, but if I had to choose I feel like it's probably Seth Rollins, but let me know in the comments below, do you think that he will win? And let me know who do you think should win the Royal Rumble. In my opinion, it should be Drew. But that's not the most important part. The most important thing is we need a good Royal Rumble. Not only a good Royal Rumble pay-per-view, but we need a good Royal Rumble match. Two of my favorite pay-per-views are Money in the Bank and Royal Rumble. And these two were ruined so much lately. Past few Royal Rumbles have been all about Roman Reigns and past Money in the Bank winners just failed. Either didn't win the championship or were really, really disappointing. So hopefully we're getting a good Royal Rumble and if Seth Rollins or Drew McIntyre are winning this year, I think it's probably gonna be a decent one. Spoiler alert, if you want to see Raw and SmackDown's Christmas episodes, if you are gonna watch WWE on Christmas, that's a it's interesting, rather interesting. Anyway, if you really want to watch and you don't want any spoilers, uh, just turn off the video right now. Because that's the only thing I'm going to talk about right now. The rest of the video is a big spoiler. Three, two, one. Didn't turn off the video. Okay. Rusev won the United States Championship on the Christmas episode of SmackDown Live that was taped after this week's SmackDown Live. Imagine this first of all, watching 5-6 hours of WWE programming live. A bunch of people left, especially during Monday Night Raw. Either way, the worst United States Championship title reign is over people. Rusev wins the United States Championship on a Rusev Day edition of Christmas. First of all, he deserved it a long ass time ago. Second of all, pretty sure he's gonna be a better United States Champion because it's a new era apparently and champions mean something. In my opinion, Rusev is the greatest United States Champion of the PG era, either Rusev or John Cena, but these two brought so much prestige to this championship when this title desperately needed it. So I know the gimmick is way different right now, Rusev is a babyface, a bit of a comedy act, but I don't think he should turn heel, but maybe he could still brought some prestige to this championship, even as a babyface. This is a new era, so hopefully WWE care about mid-card championships. Anyway, I guess it's great news, and if you really want to watch Raw and SmackDown Christmas episodes, by reading the spoilers, I realized that these are gonna suck, so they don't really count. Uh, the only important thing is this WWE title victory. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, this edition of Greatness of Wrestling. New intro is coming soon. 
Uh, if you have any suggestions what I should put in that intro, let me know in the comments below. Want to support the channel? Uh, Twitter, Instagram, all the links are in description below. Uh, turn on notifications on, by the way. That really helps. Uh, the great one, peace, love, and hugs.